Hi, I'm Ryan Porto with Porto Brothers Farms. We're out west of Kerman. Uh, these are some two-year-old pistachio trees. Uh, we started them uh, in June of, la uh, what, 2014? And now we are hoping to see the benefits of it in a few years when they come into production. Uh, we had Hortel system in uh, at planting, and we've been using the irrigation system ever since. The biggest benefit I think we've gotten from using the tensiometers isn't necessarily so much on the water savings as much as the water timing. Uh, before we used to kind of go off visual eyesight, pressure bombs, but if a pressure bomb shows that it's generally too late, the tensiometer gives you a pretty good indicator of where things are going. Uh, if I didn't have the system now, it'd be wet, but already we're middle of April and I haven't irrigated these yet and my tensiometer shows I don't need to. And, um, but I'll end up using more water during the season where before I'd get on a schedule. So we've seen benefits in that and growth usually follows your trend lines and it's been a, been a real pleasure working with Hortel. Well, it'd be impossible to irrigate without some kind of measurement system and get any kind of accuracy. Uh, we joke, I joke with uh, my salesman, here is a very, it holds onto water. My next block, literally 100 yards over is gravel soil and it just leaches right through. And it's different irrigation patterns depending on the field, depending on soil types breaking it up that way, uh, crop use. Uh, it's always one thing that I can, that I'm really just starting to notice now with it is you can start seeing what, get ideas of yields based upon different fields. Fields that are already in production are pulling more water depending on their crop load. So if I know I have a field that produces higher and I'm seeing already now that it's pulling more than a neighboring crop or a neighboring field that doesn't produce as well. So I get a general idea of, okay, this field looked like it's doing well this year. Maybe I can temper my fertilizer to put a little bit more here, cut back here as this one's not doing as well and kind of gauge that accordingly. Just, we're happy with, with the growth that we've gotten over the first two years. We're very happy with it and we're actually excited to see where we're going to go. I mean that's probably the biggest thing anything else. Uh, in two to three years when we start pulling crops off of it, that's going to be the biggest indicator of, of how well this whole system worked. The best, this is, this is an honest, true statement too with it. One of the biggest compliments I can give to Hortel, and again, there are other factors included, but Hortel, I, I absolutely believe is, is key in, in doing this. We had a field the year before I met Joe and started using Hortel. We planted an almond orchard and we had about a 30% mortality. Had to replant, finally got going. It was about a four month process before we had 100% growth. We had the first field that we put in, we planted with him and started. It was a 90 acre block. We had a total of six trees die in 90 acres. It was a really quick process. We got really good start on it going. Uh, we're two years in now. The trees look great. Uh, there'll be three by this fall, uh, but we're so happy with how they look. They're coming about. We're really excited for this crop on them. We think it's gonna be, uh, be something that we can you know, maybe break ahead off of on the third year instead of just trying to break even. We're trying not to leach anything. Uh, and it's not necessarily for the care of the groundwater, although that is important, but just financially, economically, we don't want to leach it because that's money lost. It costs us to put in, it costs us to get the hours to run the wells. Um, so with using this system, I do get a better idea as to where it is my water is going. So especially when I'm putting in fertilizer, and one of the better things that I use it for is if I'm putting in like a urea-based nitrogen, I can start looking at water te uh, what temperature and start getting ideas as to when it's going to convert into nitrate to become available so I can maybe postpone my irrigations out accordingly so that way I'm getting a better usage out of what's coming out of what I've already put into it. I became a believer in tension when I started I took a summer and I worked at the tensiometers with a pressure bomb and started getting a correlation between the two and it's pretty easy to see it you can start seeing as tension rises in the soil you use your pulling higher bars off uh, off of a pressure bomb and when I started noticing okay my my tension would show 35 kilobars yet when I'm uh, when I'm pressure bombing I'm getting 14 to 16 okay maybe there's something to be said here and usually the tensiometer like I said is a, an earlier indicator of stress than even the pressure bomb uh, when using the Hortile system one of the things I noticed is it's a complete change to the way you've been irrigating it isn't just okay this how many hours you should run a week go out do it Weekends are off peak hours. That's when I'm going to put it on. This is a timing thing. And Hortel is great at being there for you from the beginning to the end and saying, okay, maybe you should try breaking your setups into smaller sets or, you know, maybe even longer sets, depending on where you're at. Uh, if you're not getting water wide enough, if you're not getting, 
your pattern to match the way you want it to. Like I said, the tensiometer tell you everything and they're a really great gauge. And uh, Hortel's just a phone call away.